Okay, showing the mode in key mode, the uh, uh, full stick web development, and in the full stick web development, I'm telling you the image maps. Uh, if you don't know what is image maps, so in today's video, your whole concept will be clear about it. So, see the video start to end, and please like this video, share it across, and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to all the notification bell also to never miss out any future little videos about the full stick web development. So without thinking of anything, let's move from your screen and let's do a coding with loping. Guys, uh, let's talk about how uh, in the HTML water image map. So let's uh, talk about it. So let's get started now. With HTML image maps, you can create clickable areas on an image. Means that image maps. The HTML map tag defines an image map and image map is an image with clickable areas. The areas are defined with one or more area tags. Try to, uh, try to click on the computer, phone or the cup of coffee in the image below. Okay. Now let me show you the example of it. Okay. Now here's the HTML source code for the image map above. Okay. Here's the source code. Now let me copy it and let me come on my Visual Studio code and then, and then I create a new window. And then when I create a new, uh, a new window, I'm creating one file by the name of index.html. And then I'm making this file in my document and when I create this file, I am what we can do. Here I'm gonna like HTML and then here I'll like her body and then I will be pasting this code. Now here you write your picture name. I'm writing my picture name. My picture name is 25.web page and then now perfect. Now when I save it from here, uh, let me come on my docu document where I save my file and here's my index.html file. So here's my uh, file has been opened it and here you can see it. this is my file now. Here, what we can do is like use map, work map, like here we can do it. So uh, now let's come on it down. How does it work? How does it work? The idea behind an image map is so you able to perform different actions depending on where in the in the image you click. To create an ima image map, you need an image and some HTML code that describes the cl clickable areas. The image. The image is inserted using the image tag, like I have told you in the first video uh, of the image series. The only difference from other images is that you must add a use map attribute. Means that, like this one example, uh, using uh, it is a simple. Only the difference from other images is that you must only add a use map attribute. Like here we are adding. Now let me add it. Okay. Now here I am writing my picture name and my picture name is 25.web page. Now, perfect. Now, space right, dot web page and then now double commas. Now save it and then run it. So here you can see like our images come and we here we use the use map attribute. Now, the use map value is start with the hashtag followed by the name of the image map and is used to create a relationship between the image and the image map. Tip. You can use any images as an image map. Okay, any image as an image map. Create image map. Then add a map element. The map element is used to create an image map and is linked to the image by using the required name attribute. Like this, here again, this is syntax. Now, the name attribute must have the same value as the image, uh, image uh, use main map attribute the areas then add the clickable areas a clickable area is defined using an area element which element area element shape you must define the shape of the clickable area and you can choose one of these values first rect it defines a rectangular region number two circle it defines a circular region number three poly it defined a polygonal region number four number five number four sorry default it defined the entire region uh, here I told you about the, the shape of clickable area. You choose one of these values. Okay. You must also define some coordinates to be able to place the, the clickable area. Shape equals to rect. The coordinate coordinates for shape equals to rect come in pairs. One for the x axis and one for the y axis. So the coordinate uh, 34, 44 is located 34 pixels from the left margin and 44 pixels from the top. Like this, here you can see it. The coord here the coordinate 270 and 350 is located to the 270 pixels from the left margin and 350 pixels from the top in this image. And then in this image, now we have enough data to create a clickable rectangular area. So how we can do it? Let me show you. 
only we copied and only we come here and then here we paste this code okay now save it and run it so now okay we do it like that so now minimize it this area that becomes clickable will send the user to the page computer.html okay now let me show you let me click it here and then my okay it has been opened now let me copy this code and let me paste it here you wrote in your uh, wrote in your image name my image is 25 dot web page and you must know that where you make your html5 uh, there is your uh, picture name okay now save it and run it so this type of your image had became and when you click on the image it is coming like this why it is coming like uh, this type of error because i do not make the file by the name of computer.stm now when you make the file about the computer computer.htm and then when you create uh, create the file on your here and when you write anything here like uh, like uh, html or like a body or you write here h1 will be html now when you save it and then save it and then run it and when you click on this link so you will become here here you can see it why this came because here i like html if i write html l is the best coding language and now save it and then run it and when we click this on this link so here we come here you can see the best coding level, like that now minimize it close it now the area now here we can uh, the area will become the clickable now shape equals to circle to add a circle area first locate the coordinates of the center of the circle like this okay now then specify the radius of the circle like this okay now now you have the enough data to create a clickable circular area like this okay here you can see it now copy it and then come out here and then paste it now for that you can make your new file of the copy dot stm and then make this file and write anything like h1 and in the h1 i'm writing rayan now save it and then save it and run it and when you click on here the rayan has been come here you can see it like that now minimize it the uh, this area that becomes a clickable send a user to page coffee.stm save equals to poly the save equals to poly contain the several coordinates uh, points which creates a shape form with straight lines a polygon this can be used to create any shape like maybe a crossient shape how we can make the crossient in the image below become a clickable link okay uh, we have to find the x and y coordinates for all ages for the of the crossient how let me tell you the coordinates come, come in pairs for one for the axis and one for the y axis like this okay this one syntax okay now the area that becomes a clickable and will send the user to the page crossient.stm okay now image map and javascript the clickable area can be also trigger a javascript function uh, add a uh, click event to the area element to execute the javascript function so how you can do it let me tell you only click it here and then simply copy the score and close it and then come on it here and then paste it and then uh, give your file name uh, sorry image name my image name is re 25webp and when i save it in it's so this type of come and you can see like that is coming like that here you can see it now let's come on it here now when i come on it here now let me minimize it chapter summary use the html map element to define an image we learn about it at number second we use the html area element to define the clickable areas in the image map we learn about it number three we use the html use map attribute of the image element to point an image map we learn these three things so I hope you can enjoy this class. In today's video, we learn about the industry for the image map. So I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, so please like this video, share from and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to all the notification bell also never miss about any future little videos about the full stick web development. So now I'm using next class and next for your amazing class, that type of very amazing type of videos. So for today, goodbye.